Yes, I am getting rid of this game room. I love this room. I started my channel in this room. Me and my wife built this house two years ago and I had this room in mind, the dimensions and everything to fit these game cases. And now, sadly, I have to get rid of it. I wanna update you guys on my life coming up. Stick around. What's up internet, Retro here, and I am getting rid of this game room. It pains me to say it, it is so sad. I adore this game room, I really do. But some things have changed in my life and I wanna update you guys on those changes. So I wanna backtrack first to just start with this game room. Like why do I have this crazy game room? And it's, it's crazy, like there's a lot of crap in here, a lot of toys, a lot of video games, a lot of VHS a lot of nostalgia, and a lot of times, most of the time, people come in here and they're like, whoa, man. Especially people that have no idea what I do, like they don't know the retro Rick side of me. They're like, man, this is it's a lot of toys to have for an adult. And I'm like, it is, and I'm proud of these toys, all right? So I, I love this game room. I've wanted a game room for so long. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit further. So I have always collected video games and, and just stuff from my past. I love it, right? And I never knew that anybody else was like me until one day uh, I got on YouTube. So at this point, I'm still thinking YouTube is like funny cat and dog videos. That's all I think about YouTube. It's like 2013. And I'm like, I wonder if anybody else has ever game hunted. I game hunt, I toy hunt, but I've never documented it. Almost like American picker style. So I get on YouTube and I type in game hunting and a little channel comes up called Retro Liberty. They're now known as Pixel Game Squad, and I was like, they, these guys do exactly what I do. I, I love this. I didn't know there was anybody else that did this, but there, there are. And then I started finding more channels, and then I started finding these channels that had dedicated spaces, game rooms for their stuff, and I was like, whoa. Like, this can be a reality? And then I started to get excited. I was like, I started to dream about what a game room would look like for me. So then as I'm hunting, as I'm building my collection, it's all in boxes. It's in closets. I have most of my games in like my TV console in the living room, tucked away, you can't see them. And then I got my first case, this Nintendo case. Uh, I got two of them, but I could only really fit one in my house. So before this house, I, me and my wife lived in a very, very small little two bedroom house. Well, I didn't have any place for this, for let alone one of these. I have two of them, but just one of them. I ended up setting this up in our master bedroom. Now, I will say I have an amazing wife for letting me do that, but we had this huge freaking Nintendo cabinet in our bedroom. She's amazing. She let me have it, but it still, it still was not what I wanted. I'm like, man, I need, I want a dedicated space. And then we had the opportunity to build a house which I will say first off, don't ever build a freaking house. It was so hard. They ask you a billion questions like, what kind of nails you want in this door? I'm like, N what? Just nail the door. I don't know what I want. Just, just do it, I'm done. I don't wanna have any more decisions. Please just build my house. But I will say, I was excited because I had this room built specifically for the game room. The dimensions and everything to fit both of these game cases and that middle uh, shelf shelving unit. So we had this built and the game room was born. Now, still, I wasn't thinking about YouTube or anything like that, just kind of like personal, a place for me to hang out and chill and play games. And then a couple months later, I had a friend that was like, dude, you need to start YouTube, that's your backdrop. And I'm like, uh, okay, so it's kind of evolved from that. So I, all that to say, I love this game room and I'm devastated at or for having to get rid of it. So I'm gonna tell you why I'm having to get rid of it. I am moving to the great city of Little Rock, Arkansas. It's the capital of Arkansas, and it's not known for much other than Bill Clinton, which isn't a really great thing to be known for. But I'm moving to Little Rock for a job, and um, I've had this job for like seven months, but I've been commuting. I live about an hour from Little Rock. I'm talking two hour commute, a day, so it's a ton, but I have the opportunity 
to move there now. So I'm literally packing up. You can see boxes over here. I'm starting to pack up this game room, which is gonna be a nightmare. I wanna throw up thinking about tearing all this stuff down. So what is the future of the channel? Well, the good, good, good news is we're buying a house there. And thankfully, I'm gonna have another dedicated space for my game stuff. Um, even better news, it's slightly bigger than this room, which is amazing because over here on this, my left side, there's a window right here. So it kind of um, restricts me from having like full shelves. So in this new house, I'm going to basically have shelves all down that side as well. I've actually thought about maybe making it like a modern wall, having this be the retro wall and that being the modern wall. So now I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be amazing. But again, it's gonna be a huge transition for me. I don't know what that looks like in terms of videos. I'm, I think I'm gonna try to shoot three or four videos just to make sure I have something going out every week. But um, just so you know, there might be a slight delay because I'm gonna be having to put this whole game room back together. I've actually thought about, y'all tell me down in the comments, do you guys wanna see me do this? Do you to actually see me tear this stuff down and build my, build my game room back up? I don't know if anybody would be interested in that um, or not, y'all let me know. I thought about making a couple of videos of this whole process of tearing this down, which again is gonna be a nightmare, but Guys, this is happening. I'm I'm moving, but it's a good move. I'm getting a bigger game room, and I'm so pumped for it. Um, I'm actually gonna even have a little space to, you know, live stream. I'm gonna start live streaming on YouTube, playing games like Mario 64, Super Mario, a lot of the games that I loved growing up and I still love. And people have asked also, you should live stream. So I'm gonna have like a little corner for that as well. So that is the update on what's going on. It's a huge, huge deal. Um, I was actually pretty worried when we're looking for houses out in that area that I wasn't gonna have a dedicated game space and it almost broke my heart because I'm I'm loving getting to know you guys and just building up the building up the channel and and seeing seeing it grow has been has been really really cool. So that is the update guys. Nothing else other than that. The ten dollar game collection is still going. I have a couple more episodes before I kind of run dry from everything that's going on with the pandemic, but I still have like I think three more episodes I can squeeze out of, of the footage that I have. But guys, that's the update. Thank you as always for supporting, for liking the videos, for talking to me down below. It's my favorite thing. Until next time, peace.